I've literally got thousands of emails from people wondering if their problem is fascia related. It could be everything from back pain to arthritis to mental health issues or specific uh, diagnosis like fibromyalgia or something like that. We have, there are studies showing the, how fascia is related to a lot of these issues, but after a couple of years, after hundreds of hours of discussion about this in our Swedish podcast, we kind of realize that there is a common theme behind different issues and how they're related to fascia. In the document Fascia and the Living Body, we are summarizing the reasons for this, but as if, if to give you a short explanation, it could be something like this. So if you switch to perspective and look at the body from a healthy perspective, the most healthy thing is to be alive. So when you're alive and you're living, the more living you are, the more healthy you are. And life is the same as flow. So the more flow you have in your body, like the flow of water, the flow of uh, breathing, the flow of um, nervous signals, the flow of um, everything that goes around in your body, the, more, the better flow you have, the quicker you heal, the better, um, the better the immune system works, the better the cell migration works. So if you have, the more flow you have, the more alive you are. And if you start to, if something happened that impairs that flow, so if something happened that reduces that flow, for example, if I'm in an accident or I do something for a very long time, like I always carry something like this, or I um, have a childbirth that's complicated, so my pelvis is rotated, or something happened. It could also be that I'm stressing too much for a long period of time. That will get some consequences. In the beginning, it could be something like that you're, you know, you're working at a desk, so your, your upper body moves like this. And that works for a while. But as the body adjusts for it, the collagen fibers around all your organs, the, 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 the structural part of the fascia becomes more and more stuck together. And an area that is stuck together uh, automatically has less flow. And when you have the lesser flow you have, the harder it is for the body to regenerate, the harder it is for the body to, to heal different stuff. And the more stiff you get, the less mobility you have. And as soon as you don't have the same mobility, it starts to become a little bit painful when you're lifting your arm, but you can't really lift your arm because something is, is stopping here. Something is not working as it is. When you're, when you're walking or doing stuff, but you feel that, that small ache in your back. But then if you go along another couple of months or a year or 10 years, and that small aching in your back suddenly is a little bit more, so much more that when you're lying in bed trying to sleep, you kind of feel that something is not right. You feel that small ache in your back or you're trying to lie in bed and you, you move around, but you can't find a comfortable position. And then you wake up in the middle of the night and then there's something going on with your intestines as well. So you have to go up and pee at night instead of just peeing in the morning or in, in before you go to bed as you used to do. And suddenly your sleep is prohibited and as soon as you don't sleep anymore, your body doesn't regenerate in the same way. So, and then you mix it up with some kind of stress, the stress that you're either getting bad or the stress that you have in your work or in your life. And the more you stress, the less time you find for those deep breath or relaxations or finding the time to activate the parasympathetic nervous system that helps rebuild the body, that helps you um, digest, that helps you heal basically and when this goes on for a long time and this could be this could be years then the body starts to react so an area that that has this impaired flow and you have this um, the fibrosis created from the collagen tissues uh, sticking together uh, there's less flow in that place then that becomes inflamed and when it doesn't heal the way it should it becomes more inflamed and then you um, the stress reduces cortisol and that also um, hurts the collagen fibers so that inflicts that as well and suddenly you're not healthy anymore you don't sleep you have a back pain uh, the body's not working as it should less time can be spent on the immune system so you're more um, 
you easily you more easily get sick from different viruses coming in your body and this soon becomes a circle a bad circle of more and more unhealthy habits because it's not as easy to move it's not as easy to uh, eat nutritious food because suddenly you have a craving for sugar or for fast food or for unhealthy habits so it's not only your body it's also your lifestyle and your mindset so it can easily be a spiral going downwards and that's when you get those type of issues so if you look at low back pain that could be from go having a certain um, movement pattern for a couple of years combined with stress combined with too much sugar in a while um, arthritis could be some an, an, an imbalance in your pelvis that's uh, that's been wearing down your collagen fibers or or parts of your knee that then um, works in that sense so that it's it's um, it's um, not working as it should be and if you look at all types of diseases it follows the same pattern the reverse of this is trying to increase the flow so doing things that helps you increase flow that helps you reduce stress that helps you heal in a different sense it could be deep breathing for example it could be regular exercise but it could also be doing something that you really like so on the question is my problem fascia related yes it is because fascia is the whole body fascia is how the body works how it handles pressure how it regenerates how it heals how it deals how you as a person deals with everything that's going on so it's fascia related but it's also related to those simple things that you can do to keep healthy and stay healthy